Hello chess fans, this is Rick from Chess to Impress with number 96 in the series Viewers Games and this one is from Evan, a longtime friend and supporter of the Chess to Impress channel. Hey Rick, thanks for being so fantastic on YouTube, I tell everyone I know about your channel. And even my young daughter can do a good Rick impression, hello chess fans. This game was played online on chess.com and all moves were played in one day in a sort of rapid format. I was white. I believe I started pretty well in the London system and then blundered on move 18. I believe the recovery from the blunder was decent, so that might be the theme of this game, not allowing one blunder to ruin everything. Anyhow, thanks for all your great work and love the channel. All the best, Evan. Thank you Evan for those very nice words and let's have a look at your game. You opened with D4. Your name on chess.com is HiwiBaba22, he had a rating of 1492 and your opponent was Garfield29 with a rating of 1519. And black played d5. Bishop f4 and knight c6 which is the fourth most popular move in the database. Knight f6 is the main move. But black played the other knight. d3, bishop f5. Knight d2 and knight b4, very direct opening play from black. He immediately puts the finger on the sore spot on c2, attacking that point with his two light pieces. And there's only one way to get out of this, and Evan finds it, and if you want to look how to best get out of this, then put a video on pause and have a look. There really is only one way to cover c2, and that is bishop b5 check first as an in-between move. And after c6, that bishop can go to a4, protecting the c2 square, which is now protected well enough. And that's really the only way, quite surprising. Knight f6, a3, kicking that knight back to where it came from. It had to go to a6, because the c6 square is no longer available. Knight g to f3, and now h6, possibly to prevent a knight or a bishop coming to g5 even though that is not dangerous for black in this position. But no harm done, just not the most useful move in the position. More useful would have been e6 to get the king's bishop developed. c3 from Evan, e6 now, and knight to e5. Bishop d6 from black, and here, quite a spectacular move from Evan. He took on c6. I didn't see that coming. Objectively, it doesn't give white more than equality after the smoke has cleared. But in the game, white gets an advantage. Black took, and then bishop takes e6 check. That was the point of the peace sacrifice. We have a fork. King e7, bishop takes a8, and if black takes back on a8, then there is equality on the board. But an exciting position as we have uneven material. But black did not take on a8, he took on f4 first, and that's a mistake, because now Evan has a very nice in-between move. Bishop b7, the refutation of bishop takes f4. Now two black pieces are hanging, and that means that white will be material. White's bishop is no longer hanging, that is the point. Black saw nothing better then. Taking on e3 f takes and saving the knight with queen b6. Evan took anyway, queen took back, the smoke has cleared and our hero Evan is an ex exchange and a pawn up. Black has some compensation as white's light squares are quite weak and his king cannot castle because the queen is covering the f1 square and this bishop also shines through white's light squares. Black has some compensation, it needs some precise play from white. Evan played rook c1. And black played rook b8. Attacking the b2 pawn. An annoying move. It's impossible to protect the b pawn. And if you play it up then the a pawn falls. b4 is the best move here. Queen takes a3 and then you can castle. That's the best option for white. But as Evan already mentioned. He blundered on the 18th move. He played... In this position, rook c2, and that square is just covered by the bishop. Bishop takes c2 is the strongest move here, but black played queen d3 instead, infiltrating in white's position. 
Now white only has one move to keep his advantage and that's e4. Evan found it. D takes e4 and knight f1. Here e3 is the best move and black is in this game. But black played the queen to c4 avoiding the queen swap. And that's not so good because now there is knight e3 and that's a very strong move from Evan. It's blocking the pawn, the e-pawn, with a tempo on the queen and this knight is now beautifully placed. Black missed a chance on the previous move by pushing the e-pawn to e3. Queen a6, saving the queen and now knight takes f5 check. It's a bit of a pity to give that beautiful knight for a bishop. That was strong a few moves ago, but is now looking at the pawn on e4. This bishop is no longer that strong, and this knight is very strong. So giving up a very strong piece for a less strong piece is normally not what you want to do. On the other hand, white is material up, so swapping pieces is in his favor. Evan took. e takes. Queen e2, offering a trade of queens. Queen e6, black does not want to trade. And now Evan can castle. Put the king safe. G6, C4, Queen D6, and Rook D1. Evan has consolidated his position, coordinated his pieces, and is now just a healthy exchange up. And these two pawns are very strong. They will start marching down the board, and there's not much that black can do against that. They're supported by those two beautiful rooks. Rook D8 from black. B4 sets the train of that pawn chain in motion. Queen f4. And here g3, kicking the queen back, is the best move according to the engine. Black then doesn't get the counterplay he gets in the game. But Evan went for d5. Logical move. Start running with those pawns. Knight g4 from black. And now there is a threat. A checkmate in... Two threats. Let's make a very silly move for white. Let's play a4. Do you see the mate in two? Check. And checkmate. So that's a threat that Evan has to, to deal with. He played g3. And now queen e3 check is the best move. You cannot take because then knight takes e3 forks both rooks. Rook cc1, knight takes d1, rook takes d1, and this position is about equal. We have equal material, but this is still a very complicated position with the white majority on the queen side and the black majority on the king side. So we got there by g3 and then queen e3 check. So taking on e3 is not good for white. If white plays king h1 instead, then queen b3 is the best move according to the engine. Better than taking on a3 and black has counterplay. But in the game, black did not play queen e3 check. He played queen g5 and is not as good. Rook c3 from Evan. Knight back to e5. Trying to jump into that very nice square on f3. And Evan keeps rolling the pawns. King f6. King h1. Nice prophylactic move from Evan. Knight f3 will now not be with check. Nice move, king h1. Total control. h5. Black has to keep looking for counterplay on the king side because he's losing on the queen side. Those pawns will keep rolling. And here c6 is fine. d6 is fine. But Evan played h4. And that move is also okay. But there was no need for it. As Black's attack has no teeth. Objectively, it doesn't spoil anything. But you don't really want to open up your king unless you really have to. Maybe Evan had calculated everything. Queen back to h6. And d6. Rolling the pawns. g5. Still looking for counterplay. Evan took with check. Queen takes. And the c pawn marches on. These pawns are unstoppable. If black can't checkmate white on the king side, he's going to lose because of those pawns h4 c7 and rook h8 and now black has a threat of eight takes g3 with lots of scary play against the white king but the refutation is simple do you see it 
What is the best move here? Simply queening. Because now the rook is attacked by the new queen. Black has to take. Rook takes. A stakes g3 is now not as scary. And here d7 is the strongest move. But you should only play it if you have calculated all moves in black's attack. Let's have a look at one option. Queen h4 check is possible. It looks a bit scary with queen and knight. King g1. Knight f3 check. But now white can simply bail out with queen takes f3. Take the knight off the board. Because after e takes f3 there is d8 promotion. White gets a new queen and it is check that is very important. White wins. But after h takes c3... Evan did not play d7, he played rook h8, very understandable, not taking any risks, just coming to the aid of the white king. And now black's counterplay has come to a standstill, but it looked a bit scary. Black didn't give up, he played knight g4, d7 from Evan and knight f2 check. But like we saw in a previous variation, white can simply give the queen for that knight. Queen takes f2 was the last move of the game. This must have come as a cold shower for black. He resigned here. If he takes the queen, then there is d8 queen. White just gets the new queen back straight away with check. And checkmate in a few moves. King g6, you have to keep protecting your queen. Rook check, f6, and this is checkmate. Very nice win from Evan in 42 moves. We saw some very nice variations. Well played Evan and thank you very much for sending in this game so I could share it with the chess to impress community. That was Evan's game but we have another very important game going on on chess to impress which is myself against the viewers and Scoey Jordan asked me to flip the board so that's what we do. I played d4 on the first move, the viewers answered knight f6, I played c4 on the second move. And what did you come up with as your second move? Let's have a look. 28 viewers sent in a move. E6 was very popular with 9 votes. G6 is the move that displayed 13 votes. One viewer wanted to play C5. Four viewers wanted to play D5. And one viewer D6. So G7, G6 is your move in this position. And my third move is Knight C3. We're heading for a King's Indian or maybe a Grunfeld. Or maybe something else. We can still see a transposition. Please send in your third move by putting it in the comments of this video and in next Sunday's video in viewers game number 97 I will announce your third move and my fourth move. And at the end of the game I will raffle this book, The Mating Game by International Master Jovanka Huska and James Essinger. I will raffle it amongst the viewers who have taken part in this game. Hope you enjoyed the video and Evan's game. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the Chess to Impress channel and please leave a comment. If you liked the video, it would be great if you could share it on social media by clicking the share button on YouTube. You can find me on Instagram, on Twitter and on Facebook. This is Rick for Chess to Impress. Thank you for watching.